Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, DOLBOBS here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the brand new Vindicator. Vindicator? Okay, that was a mix between the two. Vindicator Crate. Now, this is going to be my first reaction. The crate's just come out. I've got my hands on one, and we're going to have a look at these items together. This is, bearing in mind, the last crate ever to be on Rocket League officially. So, let's check this thing out. So, we're starting off with a banner. It's ouchy. That's just a plaster, some bandages, some stitches, looking quite cool. I'm going to go through them quite quickly to start with, so you guys can can see them, and then I'll give my opinion at the end, because some of you guys just want to see them quickly. So, Dominus OR Erase, uh, however you want to say that. I think that looks quite cool. There's from the back. That's quite a nice decal. We have Octane Ob Obtruse. That looks like... That reminds me of the Octane MG88, just not animated. But I really like this pattern on this, like, filled-in area on the side. I think that looks really good. And we'll go with quad, qu quite a lot of car designs really well. We then have the first wheel. These are rare wheels called Clodhopper. So, uh, as you can see, rare wheels right here. We've not had rare wheels for a while, have we? Um, maybe I'm being stupid, but I don't think we've had rare wheels for a while. Um, if ever. Have we ever had rare wheels in it? Surely we have. Uh, oh, yeah, of course we have. Um, but, yeah, Clodhopper wheels. I think these look kind of sweet for some rare wheels. I think you could make some okay car designs with that. We then have the Fennec Edge Burst, which is a clean one. Ah, the Fennec decals are always the best, honestly. This entire panel on the side painted looks beautiful. We then have Picket Wheels, which goes really well with my current car design. And I don't think I can fault these at all. Metallic. We've got a really, really nice color to the originals. It looks like when they're painted, they, that big burst of color is going to be painted. And then those white bits there will stay the same. We then have another wheel. Like the, This crate has a lot of wheels in. So let's just take a look at this. Trun Trunkian, Truncheon, however you want to pronounce these. These are another very rare wheel right here. Look at that. That looks really nice. I I think this again would with the right colours, the right car design, this looks beautiful. That that one little bit of colour around the edge, I really like. I kinda like these simple ones. We then have Octane Connor. Honestly, one of the best decals in the game for sure. I really think this is probably better than black some of the black markets. And it was actually in the game files quite a long ago, and we did look at this, but we didn't know what it was gonna be, and now you can see it's part of this crate. And if you didn't know, that actually says Rocket League in, t in that text right there, converts to Rocket League. You'll actually see that text on the Neo Tokyo map. We then have the Sentinel, which you can see looks different, to say the least. It looks like a, a Batmobile-esque car. Let me know what you guys think of that. I don't think I like it that much just because of how crazy it is. It's just a Batmobile version 2. That's what I'm going to call this thing. We then have Ninja Star, which is the boost. Which you can see, you've got shurikens flying out the back, which is nice. Um, I was going to make a car design that was ninja themed uh, not long ago for a certain video that I was thinking about. And this, I think, definitely makes it work. So maybe maybe I'll have to release that video soon. But this looks really cool. We then have apparatus wheels, which I'm not really much of a fan on. I've never really been much of a fan of these ones where they use like lights. Because with the use of lights, they normally tend to just use this plain, boring sort of theme. But... Some of you guys might like this. I personally don't like it that much. Now, I don't know. These wheels probably come special edition, let's be honest. So there's probably a lot more to offer. If they do come special edition, I'll be sure to show you guys as soon as I find out. We then have Neo-Yo, which... <laughs> I mean, these are really cool. These are like holographic wheels that we've seen in Rocket Passers, but animated and a lot more... More epic, if that's the word you want to use, since Epic Games did take over Rocket League themselves. We then have Creeper wheels. That's right, Creeper, which I really like these. Not only because, I mean, they look like a Halloween wheel, which probably makes sense because, ah, I think I understand this. Since the Halloween event might not have a crate anymore since they're removing crates, I wonder. So maybe they've tried to put Halloween stuff into this just to merge it in. Um, actually, yeah, it looks like they've done that because they're not going to have a Halloween crate. 
I don't know that's not confirmation, but I don't think they will. This looks really cool how you have the black in the in, inside. It's literally just nothingness in there, which is really cool. I like that. We then have Shattered. You've all seen this. We've got Intrudium. You've all seen this. Uh, let me know your opinions on Intrudium. Uh, I've never really used it. We then have Neuro Agitator, which, as you can see, it's a black market, but it quite obviously is a Halloween-themed one. So I think I am right about... Uh, the fact that there's some of these are Halloween themed because there's not going to be a Halloween crate. And then we have Glorifier. Literally Glorifier, but it's fire. It looks beautiful. Look at that. You you almost have the sort of heat wave effect. Not as in heat wave the decal as in, in real life where you have... Um, when, when areas are really hot, you get those sort of trails that you can see. Um, and the disturbance in the air. You can see that and then you look from the front and it's pure fire. And I... <laughs> That's how I describe this decal, pure fire. I've used orange and white in my car design already, if you guys see. Look at that. That is a perfect combo, I think, already. So let me know, guys, what you think of the Vindicator crate. That is it for this video. I don't want to drag it out. We'll take a detailed look at car designs that we can make from this sort of stuff. All the painted versions, that will be coming to the channel soon. It's the weekend soon as well. I'll be popping out some videos during there. But let me know, guys, what your favorite item in this entire crate is. Personally, I definitely have to say Glorifier. And then I think next would probably be these Picket Wheels. I really like them. Or Octane Kana, of course. But yeah, that's a nice one to finish up on, Glorifier. Very, very nice black market. One of the best ones we've had, um, especially since some of the new ones haven't been as good. But let me know, guys. Let me know what you think. I've said that multiple times already. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.